filled by the Lord with the spirit of understanding, Blessed Bernard ministered streams of clear teaching to the people of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today, as we come before our Father in heaven, let us call to mind the times that we have failed and ask God for his divine mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O God, who made of the Abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with zeal for your house and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name profaned among the nations in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nation shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God. And when in their sight I prove my holiness through you, for I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all of the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart, a place and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your own stony hearts and give you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. I will pour clean water on you and wash away your sins. I will pour clean water on you and wash away your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite heart my heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priest and the elders of the people in parables saying, the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. 
A second time he sent his servants, saying, Tell these invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away. One to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants and mistreated them and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, the feast is ready, but those who are invited are not worthy to come. Go out therefore into the main roads and invite to the feast whoever you, whoever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came, in to meet his guest, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. And he said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he, he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the most powerful means of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Today, we have a couple readings on this memorial of St. Bernard. And I think they're important because, once again, they show a parable of the Kingdom of God. The invitation that God completely gives to each and every one of us to receive his love. But many of us, we don't want to change. So what happens is we put obstacles in the way of that invitation, of that love, of that peace, of that joy that God does give. God did send his son. The wedding feast is the cross and the resurrection. He is married, in a sense, to humanity because he has given his flesh to humanity. And he has died for every one of our sins. But yet, for us to receive that, we must ask for forgiveness. And we must be willing to be part of that wedding feast, as Scripture shows it today. Many had their own concerns, their self-interest. They moved away from that as many of us do in life. We don't seem to need God until we really need God to save us. But when we're fine, we're peaceful, God takes a back seat or he takes a shelf that we put our Bibles on and our rosaries on and we stop praying. And brothers and sisters, we have to understand that there's a war going on in our midst. It's a war we can't see. It's the principalities of evil that have been going on for centuries. Angels against demons that we just can't see. Now we're starting to see them manifest in the world through people, through things happening in our world. And we have to be smart about that. Ask for forgiveness. Unite with God's heart. Receive, in a sense, that mission that he has for you because there is one. And that is to love those around you, to love the stranger, to forgive your enemies, to pray for those who hurt you. It's all in God's plan. When you're willing to do those things, to pray, to do the hard stuff, to go against the emotions that we feel and actual pray for those that are hurting us, what happens is God sees that spiritual maturity. He sees that love that you're portraying in the world, and then comes his glory, his feast that he invites us to, which is heaven. My brothers and sisters in Christ, don't necessarily put down what you can't see. The Eucharist, for example, is something that we celebrate. It's the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. There's instances, over 800 in the world, where God has allowed us to see him manifest through the Eucharist. Either it bled or it turned to flesh, or things like that. But yet... Most of the time we can't see, but we still believe. We feel the wind on our face, and we know that the wind is blowing, but we can't see it. 
my brothers and sisters in Christ, there is a larger thing going on. We can't see the soul, but we need to wash that soul, just like our bodies, just like our hands, our feet, just like we have hand sanitizer to keep germs off. There is a soul sanitizer, and his name is Jesus Christ. He comes to us through confession. And that's ultimately what God wants, is he wants the purity of heart for all of us so that we can grab on to the glory of God in this world. Let us pray. Father, we come before you in praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for hearing us, for we know you always hear us. Consider these needs and we beg you to answer them. Father, we continue to pray for our church. We pray for a holy boldness in Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who come to us in crisis, our military, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, hospital personnel. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our parishes, especially those that may be sick within our parishes. We ask, Lord, for your healing presence. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in our world, within our church, within our families, and within our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for your intentions in the silence of your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for David Pilon, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, these are our prayers. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and also through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace. As we celebrate the memorial of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and concord to the church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let, the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands and endured his passion, so to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Bernard, St. Anthony, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Please allow me to do a spiritual communion for those who are joining us from home. Lord Jesus Christ, you are present in every tabernacle in the world. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. We ask you to flood our hearts with your peace, your joy, your love. Allow us to make this spiritual communion that we may praise you that we may participate in your love in every encounter we have today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us, so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>